All right, all right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media, Prophet John here, and I just made a video about Kobe Bryant passing away in a helicopter uh, on the night of the Grammys, and uh, this is just continuing and continuing and continuing as more and more people, um, Hollywood stars die um, during the uh, award ceremonies. Um, every single year and um i was looking for some codes i was trying to decode some things and um i was waiting for some numbers and and um, something was telling me you're gonna see one very soon and boom tmz announced also that his daughter um passed away as well and uh, she was 13 years old and i was like there it is there's the cabal number 13 and I was waiting on it. I was trying, I was looking for 33, 13, or some type of cabal number, and I couldn't find it. And some just told me, wait, you're going to see it. It's going to show up because it's all about symbols and numbers and signs. And there it is, 13. And she was 13 years old. She was going to be a, a mega star basketball player. And um, she was daddy's, you know, daddy's girl. And, uh, this one, uh, this, this, this is unbelievable. But this is what they do. And uh, I was waiting on it. I, I, I didn't see it in the last video. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that number. I was waiting for a number. And I found, and we got one. We got the number. And it's 13. It's right in front of our face. The, you know, you could try to deny these things all you want. And every year you see the same things over and over and over and over again 33 13 and and 3 33 13 3 plastered in your face over and over again and um it's just it's just sad it's sad that we live in this type of life with this type of world where evil is running things and control things it's time for god's people it's time for the holy people it's time for the Yeshua people, it's time for the chosen people to rise. 2020, I'm declaring 2020 the year the chosen people rise. And we and we say enough with the evil in this world. And uh, enough with the sacrificing. Enough of sacrificing children and babies and, and Hollywood people. Enough sacrificing uh, animals and, and all these types of rituals and satanic rituals and all these things. Enough with the sacrifices, enough with your evil, enough with all the things that you're doing for the Satan, for the kingdom of Satan. And we must arise for the kingdom of Yeshua, the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the kingdom of Abba Father, the kingdom of the Holy Spirit. Because that's the true living kingdom that's going to last for eternity. That's the kingdom that needs to rise. Our kingdom, the kingdom of Yeshua, should rise. We shouldn't be afraid, people. You're on the winning side and you're afraid. It's unbelievable that so many people are on the winning side, yet they're so afraid. They're afraid of witches and warlocks and they're afraid of satanic people. They're afraid of the devil. They're afraid of this. They're afraid of that. Why don't you pray and, and, and ask the Holy Spirit to put boldness in you and step up and let's go and let's win this. Let's win this. We're already on the winning side. So there's nothing really to win except for arising and understanding and, and seeing evil and, 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 claim, and, and letting people know that what's going on instead of hiding hiding behind computers, hiding in your homes, hiding, just hiding. And not doing the not doing the work for the kingdom. It's time to do the work for the kingdom because these things are going to continue to happen. Rituals are going to continue to happen. Sacrifices are continue. They happen all the time. Every week there's another sacrifice here and there and here and there. And people just say, "Oh, well, R.I.P." And they move on. They don't realize that these people are being sacrificed over and over and over. And the codes, there's there, everything is coded, and you can decode these. All these things can be decoded. If something is coded, it can be decoded. 
right? If a cure is man-made, then there's a cure to cure. There's a there's a cure for that man-made virus, right? So I found it. It's thirteen. It's there. It's her birthday. It, it, it's how old she is. I was waiting on it, and it has come through. And TMZ says the thirteen-year-old, and they, you know, that's the thing they blasted for thirteen-year-old Kobe Bryant's daughter, thirteen years old. They want people to, they want everyone in Hollywood to see the number thirteen. It was all, it was blasted on ESPN as well. You turn on ESPN on right there on the bottom screen, thirteen-year-old Kobe Bryant's daughter also passes away and dies in the helicopter crash. They want people to see the number 13. Anyways, we we saw the number. It's coded. It's a sacrifice on the day of the Grammys. And it's uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. R.I.P. to Kobe and his daughter and... Uh, you know, the whole family that's mourning and all the NBA friends and family members that are mourning, you know. Yeshua loves you. And he wants you in his kingdom. Repent and return to the kingdom of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. In Yeshua's name we pray. Shalom. Eyes open.